to Seeing Through Glass, and welcome to day three or four, or the final part of my trip to South Africa. Today, I am joining Audi for the launch of their new A7 Sportback. This is the reason that I'm in Cape Town. Audi very kindly invited me to come and check out their new car. Obviously, I've been here for a few days, so I'm here before any of the other media. So currently, I'm sat in my hotel room, waiting for them to turn up so we can go and check out these new cars. Boys and girls, meet Nicole. <laughs> Nicole is from Mobile Geeks blog, and she's here to test every section of this infotainment system. All the buttons. You every are challenging it. Yeah. Button. I was like, oh, it'll be fine. You're like, no, we are going to test this. Um, now, I'm going to class us as the fun car. Yes. I think we're the fun car. Everyone else left the hotel about three hours ago. Uh, they've gone to like dynamically test the chassis of the car. We're going to go find some penguins. Oh. Penguins oh, or penguins? Penguins. Penguins, penguins. right? Penguins. penguins. We're going to cuddle We're them? We're going to cuddle penguins. We found out basically mm. last night that there's like a beach that supposedly is full of penguins and, and that's really all we care about right now, well, isn't it? I mean, and testing the infotainment system on the way there. Yeah, because neither of us care about understeering under 40 kilometers an hour. That's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> so I will try and tell you a little bit about this car on our way to or from the penguins. Um, for the meantime, we are just going to cruise and hopefully yeah. see some wildlife because hashtag Africa, right? Hashtag Africa. Let's do it. Away we go. Whilst I am being chauffeured ever so excellently by Nicole, I'm going to use this lovely sheet of paper to tell you the facts and stats about the A7 that we're in. So this is the A7, not the S7 or the RS7. They are coming later on. Um, the exact car that we are in is the 55 TFSI S-Tronic, which Nicole, you're very familiar with. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this does actually have a V6 engine in it, so it does have a V6. It's a very odd sounding V6 though, because this has like a, what they call like a mid-level hybrid system or something, or like a medium hybrid, basically like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of hybrid in it. Shoe box size hybrid. Shoe, I think like a mouse box size of hybrid. <laughs> when you're on the highway, it'll turn the combustion engine off and just use the electric engine. Which is the point of the sort of tiny battery is that it's helping with fuel economy. So, facts and stats people, I know you guys want it. This is the seven speed S-Tronic in the diesel. You get an eight speed automatic, something, something. I can't remember which version, but the S-Tronic's the one you want, so that's what we've got. Uh, power output is 340 horsepower. Torque is 500 newton meters, so quite a bit of torque. Not a huge amount of horsepower, but they'll reserve that for the S and RS7 models. Uh, what else do we want to know? Oh, 5.3, nor to 60, that's quite good. Oh. That's quite good, I mean, I mean, just saying, that's quite good. Good. That's, it's a big car, it's a heavy car. Um, now, this is where we're going to get into your neck of the woods. <laughs> Let's talk about technology. Oh, thank, um, God. thank God. <laughs> We've got HD matrix LED headlights with Audi laser light, including LED yes. light strip and rear lights and LED technology. Yes. They've gone big on the lights. Yes. They've gone hot, like, and you can kind of tell that as you walk up to the car, there's a lot of light action going on. Feels like a Shoreditch house party. Anyway, um, moving on, we've got city assist package, which is crossing assist, which we experienced a little bit yesterday. Some people tried to walk out in front of us and it went, ah! Yeah. It does a lot of, ah! Yeah, we get does. a lot of that. A lot of, ah! <laughs> um, uh, exit warning, it's rear cross traffic. Right after one kilometer. Susie Satnav comes for free. Uh, lane change assist, present. I mean, it goes on forever. Tour assist, I've got adaptive drive assist, adaptive speed assist, efficiency, ass efficiency assist. This is literally the entire technology and security section. And that's why I come to these Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's why I chose to partner up with you, because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but anyway, this car is definitely being sort of uh, uh, positioned as a very sort of technical car, whether that comes down to actually body and chassis and etc, to the infotainment system. Um, so we're going to try and experience it all today at some now point. Dive to the right. But for now, Susie's taking us to the penguins. Locked? Okay, okay. Five minutes, let's do this. Five minutes. Uh, are we getting the right way? It's 
some bad AC, dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get the, let me get it on. Ah, how do I turn it on? <laughs> it's suddenly got super muggy and hot and warm. But, but AC. AC, quick. There's some tech in you. I'm gonna go up to three. Yeah. I think it's officially called seat ventilation, isn't it? But we're going with butt AC for now. Um, is, it, is it called seat ventilation? I think so. No, it should be called butt AC. Butt AC. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> I guess it depends where you're from in the world, but anyway. Uh, um, some of you watching this as a car channel may be thinking, why on earth did we just go and film some penguins? But it's the first time that Nicole and I have been to Africa. Africa and I feel like yeah. we can't come here and not see any wildlife. Um, but anyway, I'm fully aware that you probably now want to hear a bit more about the car, so we're going to get out of this car park, and then I'll start chatting to you about the vehicle dynamics of the new A7 Sportback. Now, I've been trying to work out over the past 24 hours who would be buying an Audi A7, because it's... it's... I think it's in the between of a lot of things. If you're a family, surely you're going to be getting an Avant or an SUV these days. And if you're a businessman, you're not going to be getting a saloon. So I don't really know who the customer of this car is. And that is making me struggle in defining exactly what I think of it. Because the Sportback name is what I have an issue with. The car is perfectly comfortable. I don't love the looks. It's got all this new spangly tech. It's got all this stuff going on. But I don't find it very sporty. Even me, I don't really care about driving experience. I'm more about the tech. I question the sportiness. Yeah. Yes. We're yeah. in full dynamic mode now. Sporty gearbox. It's got all the usual Audi features. But because of, I guess, the various safety systems in place, because of the medium, mid to hybrid yeah. system, it's a bit of an unauthentic driving experience. Well, and this is my thing. I don't know if the tech has gone too far. Maybe. Right? Maybe that's for you to decide in your yeah. content, which will be going live soon on <laughs> Mobile Geeks. On Check them out, yeah. <laughs> but it's a weird one because, as I say, potentially the customers of this car won't care because I'm assuming when Audi get onto <laughs> um, when Audi get onto making the S7 and the R7, that's when they're really going to plug into performance. But for example, perfectly good at overtaking. But did you hear the sound? It, yeah, sound, it sounded electric. It, it didn't sound throaty. engine. Yeah, From throaty. a V6. It's yeah. still got a V6, but you don't really get much of that. But as I say, that's why I'm finding it hard to decide whether I think it's good at what it needs to be good at. Because if, as a customer of an A7, you don't really care about the... <gasps> Baboon! 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 Oh my God. <laughs> Baboon! Nature vlog continues. No, Baboon! He's got a red There's more! They're climbing up here! Look up here! <gasps> Many baboons. baboons! Many, many baboons! Baboo <laughs> That's amazing! Look at they're going through the trash! Look at their ugly bums! They're going, they're stealing stuff! They're going through the trash! So literally, as I've been driving around South Africa, all I've seen are these sons saying, Warning! Baboons! Don't feed the baboons! I'm like, there are no baboons! No! We've seen penguins and baboons! And we've done it in a brand new A7! Yes! Yeah, <laughs> so, so maybe that's what this car is great at. Exploring South Africa in. Do you know what I mean? Like, in all seriousness, yeah. it hasn't put a foot wrong in exploring South Africa, has it? No, I mean, like, this, like, windy road that we're on, it, fe like, it feels really, like, the, the responsiveness of the driving is good. It's so good at taking over. We've got butt AC. Butt AC. Super comfy, just, like, cruise, taking the views, yeah. and then just enjoy going somewhere. Yeah. It's not necessarily about the driving, it's about the journey. Yeah. There we oh. go. I mean... That should be like tattooed on my back somewhere, right? <laughs> a little this sort of baboon! <laughs> yes! Faces. Such an ugly bum! <laughs> say a short time later but it wasn't a short time later it's about an hour and a half later but we've made it to our lunch location for today one of the most stunning vineyards I would say in South Africa look at this view the car is now all parked up I can see for about 300 miles um, but the only thing on my mind right now is another coffee and food so let's go inside first and then I'll talk to you again in a second
Well, I have to say, it feels like it's been a pretty perfect way to finish off my trip in South Africa, cruising around in this A7, taking in the scenery and taking in the wildlife, something that I really wanted to do whilst I was here. All of my preconceptions, all of my sort of underestimations of this place have just been completely blown out of the water because it's been amazing. For any of you who have been apprehensive about traveling to this part of the world, please forget that and come because not only has it been stunning and beautiful but the car scene has been amazing and the people have been fantastic like I know there's dangerous areas of South Africa and I know there's a lot of crime that goes on but I haven't witnessed any of it and I feel like there are dangerous criminal parts of every major city and country around the world everywhere that I've gone people have been smiley happy friendly giving thumbs up and loving the cars it's been amazing I have to say a huge thanks to Audi for bringing me out here and for letting me try out this brand new A7 Sportback. I cannot wait to hopefully one day get my hands on the RS7 version of this car. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the various videos that I've uploaded here from South Africa. I definitely plan on coming back here again in the near future. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this one and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.